Hi there, welcome to the Sunday preview for this second Sunday of Ordinary Time. And we have as our reading uh, the Wedding Feast of Cana from chapter 2 of St. John's Gospel. It says, There was a wedding at Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servers, do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone water jars there for the Jewish ceremonial washings, each holding 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus told them, fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, draw some out now and take it to the head waiter. So they took it. And when the head waiter tasted the water that had become wine, without knowing where it came from, although the servers who had drawn the water knew, the head waiter called the bridegroom and said, Everyone serves good wine first, and then when the people have drunk freely, an inferior one. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this as the beginning of his signs at Cana in Galilee, and so revealed his glory and his disciples began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, it's interesting that this is the first miracle of Jesus. It says it's the first of his signs. Up to this point, he hadn't performed any miracles. He had been baptized in the Jordan by John the Baptist. But he had spent 30 years in obscurity in Nazareth and um, went out to the Jordan River to be baptized by John, and now it's the beginning of his ministry. And it's interesting to see that Mary plays a decisive role in getting that ministry started. He pushes back on her a little bit. He says, my hour has not yet come. And whenever St. John refers to the hour of Jesus, it's referring to his passion, death, and resurrection. That's the hour of Jesus. So when Jesus says, my hour is not yet come, in effect, he's saying to Mary, you're pushing me to start this process, this walk that's gonna end with my death. And do you realize what you're saying? And Mary is confident that Jesus will do the miracle, but also that it's time for Jesus to begin his public ministry. So Mary's there at the beginning of that, and she's accompanying us in everything we have to do as well. And Mary's the one that shows us the way to Jesus. And a second point here might be that, well, even though Jesus hasn't formally started his public ministry, he already has the 12, the 12 apostles. And they're following Jesus. There's something about Jesus that's different and fascinating. There's something that intrigues them about Jesus. But it says now when he changes this water into wine, this is the first of his signs. And his disciples began to believe in him. It was this miracle that tipped the scales for them. They were no longer just intrigued by Jesus and tagging along but now they became disciples. Now they were convinced that this truly was the Son of God. And that's the path of discipleship for all of us too. We have to get to that point where Jesus becomes our Lord and we know that he's the Son of God and he's our Lord. Is that what it is for you? Are you convinced?